So now that you know all the basic operators, both logical and mathematical, you can start writing functions that are repeatable mathematical operations. So the example that we have in this lesson is variance. And why don't we just rework this a little bit and make it standard deviation. So what we're looking at here is the population variance. And we'll go ahead and make the population standard deviation. So I'll start this off. I'll say def sd. And we can still work with these three parameters, x, y, and z. So we're assuming that our population is three values. So we take the mean of these, x plus y plus z, and we divide that by three because there's three items. And we'll go ahead and set up the numerator for the variance. And you know this would be x minus the mean squared plus y minus the mean squared Oops. plus z minus the mean squared. And so we've got, we know the mean, we have our numerator for variance, and we can go ahead and put our numerator over 3, over big N. And then we'll just take the square root of that for standard deviation. And to do square root, we could import math. Uh, we could use the SQRT function. We don't need to do that. We can raise this to the power of 0.5 or 1 half. So that's a quick, quick and easy way to get a square root. You could similarly get a cubed root, um, you know, fourth root. And if I call this standard deviation on, well, let's do 7, 8, and 9, and I'll print that. We'll see that I have an error. Oh, I see it. I believe it's right there. Yep, I think so. And we get eight point or point eight one six four nine, et cetera. Why don't we stretch this out a little bit? Let's do four and then nineteen. So four, eight, and nineteen. Let's look at the standard deviation of that. Six point three four. So this is giving uh, giving us an idea of the spread of the numbers that we put in it. But as you can see, this is a fairly, um, it's not a, a very complex formula, but the representation can look a little bit complex. And we can go ahead and construct this using the mathematical arithmetic operations that you already know. Similarly, we could do more complex logical operations and pack those into functions. And then we can reuse, reuse these functions, right? And that's kind of what programming is all about, especially in this mathematical space.